We believe that by bringing in ideas from the gaming industry, uh, using gamified learning and learning simulations, that we can engage the students a lot more, make science education a lot more fun, uh, and that way empower students to go out and solve these, uh, these important global challenges. So by bringing in virtual laboratory simulations, we can allow students to have unlimited, low-cost access and allow them to train and retrain until they understand the concepts really well. Typically today, when teachers are teaching science, um, they perform classroom uh, lectures and then the students go into the laboratories. What we do often is to explain uh, to, or work with the teachers and the students to bring the pre sort of before they go into the real laboratories, let them pr practice and train themselves using their own laptop or their own tablet in the same way as a pilot training in a flight simulator before going into the real plane. We actually have now more than 70 different learning simulations which typically range from 30 minutes to one hour. And you could, for instance, learn about laboratory safety. How do you perform uh, safe experiments in a laboratory, in a very expensive laboratory? We always create an engaging storyline around the simulation. Great, you can make it to the crime scene so fast. As you can see to your right on the floor, this is where the professor was murdered. We like to call it gamified learning because the focus is on the learning. Now let's compare the genetic fingerprint of the murderer with our suspect. And then we can also go in the whole other field where we teach about cancer research, cutting edge cancer research from MIT for instance, where we bring this technology out to students globally before it's even physically available as hardware for the students. So in the case of the, the cancer research, for instance, we, we create a scene where a daughter meets her mother who has uh, been diagnosed with cancer, and then you learn how to take blood samples to, uh, from the patient and go into the laboratory and help identify the specific cancer and the treatment for this patient. And then you, at the end of it, see and feel how the daughter and the family sort of overcome this hard challenge for them. So, so by, by showing this to the students, their engagement and understanding of the importance of what they learn really increases significantly. We also have simulations where you learn about uh, how you can use DNA from plants to create medicines for students, or sorry, for patients to uh, solve uh, or cure different diseases. In a VR world, a single student is typically absorbed in, in their own virtual experience, but it's actually possible to connect multiple VR uh, experiences into one uh, singular experience. So the first level that we want to, to really work with is to bring the teachers into the students' uh, experience in the virtual world, such that they can jump in and help the specific students when they need it. The interesting thing about virtual reality now is that the price is getting so low that students around the world now will have full access to VR. Uh, we even, we're working with several vendors now and believe that within a very short amount of time, we will have a full virtual reality experience for $300 or less. And that really opens the doors for bringing the VR experience into the, into the classroom. Now this is a very new field, um, so it's hard for us to show evidence yet that this actually worked. But we see very promising early studies now that show that the engagement uh, for the students is much, much bigger when they are in the virtual uh, environments. Uh, so this really allows the students to train uh, themselves to be ready for the jobs of the future once they uh, finish their studies.